Hey loves, um, I'm going to do a quick, small but you know quick Louis Vuitton authentic collection that I have. It's really small. I only got um four bags and two accessories. So I'm going to get right to it. Because I've not been promising you guys a whole handbag collection but I want to do this one separate and then whenever I haven't done like I already did my Dune and Burke, my Louis Vuitton now and then the rest. I'll do probably next week, most likely. Fingers crossed. So I'm going to start off with my two accessories. I have the Epi Leather Red Planner Wall Agenda. This one's the medium one. This is not the large one. And all I did, since I use this for work, I just filled it in with Filofax Filling Paper. Because I want to use the Louis Vuitton paper that's like $150 and not for it. No. With my little reinforcements, I got my stamps, my Swarovski pen that I absolutely love, and it writes in blue. This one has a six card slot and a like little extra pocket right here. Nothing here, and it has just an extra little slot back here. So that's my red one and it's engraved right here in the front as you can see I absolutely love it it's durable and I could spot this a mile away especially if it's on my desk and I'm going crazy looking for it it's red mainly most of my work like work stuff is in the color red only because I could spot it and it's easier for me to just grab I also got the six ring key and epi in the red as you see, it's kind of beat up, but I absolutely love it because, again, you can spot it in your bag and it won't go missing or anything. So, those are my keys. It comes with a little pocket right here, which I just put my debit card and my state ID, and I'm going to run out. It has blue button engraved on the button as well as in the front. It has it underneath the button. As you can see, I absolutely love it. It's really convenient and it's a really on the go kind of thing. You just grab your keys, your debit, your IDs already in there, and keep it moving. So I'm gonna start off with my handbags. I have this one in a plastic only because, um, as you saw probably prior to my other Dunia Bird collection, I showed you the bookshelves that I have. So I have these on top, and I have like a water system right in front of my closet, and I'd be scared. So I have this one in plastic, just so it won't get messed up. And the dust bag, I have it on in the um in the laundry. I'm gonna go to laundry today. So this is the Louis Vuitton Deville. This is more of the medium size. This is more like a Speedy 35. If you look at it, like Speedy wise, this is mainly for like cosmetic stuff. Well, back in the days. So it has a little pouch in the front, as you can see. It has a little luggage tag. It has Louis Vuitton engraved in the front. I don't know if you can really see it, but it has it right there. The bag has no pockets. It has no feet because, like I said, it's mainly supposed to be for a toiletry bag. And this is the inside. It has two over there, two over here pockets. It has a little tag right here, as you can see. And it also has, yeah, you can see it, these little rubber band kind of thing. There is, it was made to secure like shampoo bottles, conditioner bottles, any kind of bottle. As you can see, I don't have it on one side. The inside is really durable material, like you can just wipe it clean, which is awesome. And as you can see, it already turned like, the Rochelle already turned like a honey color, which I absolutely love, 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 love. It also has this ring here, which you could put a strap and cro carry it crossbody, which I don't. But the zipper, as you can see, it has a LV on it. It zips all the way around. Not all the way around, but you know. It has a really large opening. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love this bag. But the only thing is that it does get kind of heavy. So it's really, really, really spacious inside. Like that's just with my planner and 
I still have a whole lot of space. So I love this bag. It's just, it does get kind of heavy. That's the only downfall to it. But it zips beautifully. And the handles are kind of longer than the Speedy. So you have more, it's more comfortable to hold. But it's absolutely beautiful. Again, this is the DeVille. Beautiful. Beautiful bag. Like the bigger one, it's more like a like a mini sack. And it has a zipper on the bottom. It's beautiful, but uh, I'm good with the one I have. This one is my Speedy 35. I absolutely love, love this bag. It has a 35 engraved on it. I don't know if this camera will pick it up, but it has a zipper. As you can see, it kind of, the lock kind of made it droop, so I just took it out as well as in here. And after a while, the only thing about the untreated leather is that the tag zoo curve up. As you can see with this one, it has like a little curve in the end. But other than that, I love it because I love the honey color on it. Especially with the monogram, it's beautiful. And with the with the monogram, it's with well, the speedy, it's one continuous fabric. I'm like puzzled. But it's like one continuous material. So in the front you see the LV straight and in the back you see them upside down. And the bottom has no feet. The inside is spacious and I keep this in it to keep it straight because when you first first buy it, it has like the creases of the fold. Thankfully mine doesn't have that but that's the inside. It's a bottomless pit. It only has one pocket which kind of sucks but in here you can put mainly the things you're going to grab more which is cell phone. Which, honestly, my cell phone doesn't fit there because I'm using my cell phone right now. This is my cell phone case. I got the Samsung Note 2. And it kind of fits, but like that. So it kind of defeats the purpose. And in the inside of the pocket, I have my lock with my key. And I just keep it in there. Just to keep it with my bag. On this side, it has a D-ring. Which I would attach my... I have a little coin purse. It's like a little heart and it has a chain. I'll link it to here. And it just has the bottom shaper. Because you have an option. You want your, your bag sagging or with a shape. So I bought this. Bottom shaper. Because you see how it's kind of straight. But when you have it full, it kind of sags. And honestly, I don't like it sagging because it looks like... Saggy boobies from old, old people. No. So I keep it like this. And it keeps its shape. This is the 35. I love it. This one is my once in a blue. I'll take it out. Like if I'm going to go on a date with my husband. And I want to look cute and simple. I'll use this one. This is a dust bag. And this is the Alma PM. Also monogram. I love it. This one doesn't come with the feet on the bottom. So you can see kind of the wear and tear on it. The Louis Vuitton right here. But I love it. Even with the wear and tear, it just gives so much character to the bag. But I love it. This is the handles. It's really, it's, it's small, but I, I love it. This is the lock. That's where you would lock it, right here. It has the LV on both zippers. This one as well has a large opening, as you can see. So it really expands to open. This one as well, I have a stop. This is the inside. The pocket it's inside so it's not like the speedy that flaps out it's not just stitched into the material and the inside of the speedy and this one it's like a nylon material 
I, I'm assuming I'm not really good with my fabrics, but I think it's nylon. It's pretty durable. And it's really big, like ginormous, which I love. And it also has an option right here. It has a ring here and a ring on this side. So you can also buy the strap separate and just you can have it crossbody. But I usually carry it like this. It's beautiful and elegant. I love it. This is a definitely a must have for your collections. And last but not least, this one I've been searching for for about a year and a half. I believe, yeah, about a year and a half. And Louis Vuitton did do a contract with, I have my paper right here, the French luggage company. It was from 1970 to the early 1990s. They had a contract with them. And I guess at that time, it was really overwhelming with Louis Vuitton supply bags. So they actually did a contract with the French luggage company for them to also manufacture the bag. They have the same fabric, the same canvas, I mean, there we go, canvas, but the style is kind of different. It's the concept of the Speedy, but some of the detail is different. They put their own touch to it. So this is it. This is the French luggage company Speedy. As you can see, the canvas is all the same, it's that these handles are different, as you can see. These are more like a brown, and it has this, which is the same concept, but this is the part that's different. It comes with a kiss lock, and it's on the actual zipper. You stick it in, and it locks, and then you have the key to open it. I loved it. It was completely different. Not everybody has this bag. Not everybody knows a lot about this bag. But when I seen it, I was like, I have to have it. So this is Speedy 30. I paid about $320, $350, I believe. And this is the bottom. It has a leather strip on the bottom, as you can see. And the other thing is that on both sides, the LV is straight. It's not upside down. So it's up front. It's still the same. It still looks exactly like a Speedy, but I think those are the only little different touches that they gave. And also the inside, it doesn't have a pouch. They have no pouch in the inside and no D-ring at all. And also what I have in here is just the, the cover of my shoe box. And I put it as a space on the bottom, a shaper I mean. And this one has more like a shirt tag. And it's the special license manufactured by the French luggage company. And it has the Louis Vuitton on it. And it's beautiful. So, this is a 35. This is a 30. A little slight bigger. But you can see the differences. I mean, it's not much, but, you know, it's just the little stuff that they wanted to put their own style to it, but it's still the same concept. I absolutely love it, to be honest. This is, like, my go-to bag. I love it. And the fact that I love it is that not everybody has it, so you stand out more. It's like the, it's as if having the monogram or the Damier Ebeen, completely different, but you can still see it as a speedy. So I absolutely love this bag because I could... Throw it anywhere and it's durable. You don't have to worry about this because this doesn't stain. So I absolutely love it. So you could Google it. It's Vintage Louis Vuitton, the French luggage company. And it just says, you know, a lot of stuff. Like some of the stuff I could, you know, type in on the bottom. But it says, how do French company um, pieces differ from Louis Vuitton factory? The French company, a Louis Vuitton history hardware leather patches because they also make some luggages I don't know if you can see it but some of them come with like a patch on it and you can just put your initial and I've seen like two two of them and I'm dying for them but it's just the price is the vintage they're really high up there but this is all the information that I've had if anything I could do a separate video on this bag alone with the information that I have here just let me know on the bottom bar Thumbs up the video if you want a comparison or anything. But, like I said, absolutely gorgeous. I love it.
So that's all for my collection. And I want to give a special shout out to everybody who's, you know, subscribed to me, who's left me comments on my prior videos. I absolutely love you guys. I truly, truly appreciate it. Please stay tuned. I do have a little more stuff that I want to do. I'm trying to do Halloween looks. If you guys are interested, I can do a hair tutorial if you guys want because I know I got some compliments on my hair. Thank you. And I really do appreciate everybody, everybody, everybody who sees my videos and definitely leaves me comments, PMs me. I really, truly appreciate it. Together as a team, we can make whatever we want, which I absolutely go for. But again, thank you, thank you, thank you for everybody who took the time to PM me, to comment, to thumbs up. You know, those little, little things really do count and I really do appreciate. So, real quick, because I'm going to get questions. This I got in rainbow. It's rose gold. And I got it for $6.99. So definitely check out your rainbows. They have beautiful accessories. I could do an accessory collection, which I think I'm going to do this week. So, stay tuned to that. Mwah.